you want two small punching devices, it can be small pillows, toilet paper tubes, whatever. Okay, so facing me and Chidiya, Kanye. Okay, we're going to do the same thing we did last class, but we're gonna just do a, a lesser version. We're gonna do it shorter, and we're gonna add a couple more things in at the end. So we're gonna start off, you're gonna throw them up and try and hit both with the same hands. So you're gonna do two punches, throw it up, two punches, try and hit both of them. And do some on one hand, some on the other, you can throw them with the same hand that punches to make it even harder, or throw them with one hand, punch with the other, and go ahead. I'm not gonna do this for super long, so make sure you get both sides in. Oops. Hmm. I went up on a shelf somewhere. But keep it going, throw it up, try and hit both. Where did... I don't know where that went. Somehow lost both on the same punch. Oh, here we go. Okay, once again, throw it up. One, two. So Baylor, you're gonna want Two of these, two toilet paper towel rolls works best, but any two little small things you can punch. And we're throwing them with one hand and trying to punch both with the same hand. Helps if you have a dog to retrieve them for you. Throw it up, one, two. Good girl. Throw them up, one, two. Oh. Sometimes you hit both with the same punch. Good girl, can you give me the other one? Get the other one. Right over here. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Again, throw them up. Hit both with the same hand. Okay. One more. Okay, now you're gonna throw them up and you're gonna try and front kick one of them. You might hit both of them, but you wanna hit at least one of them with a front snap kick or a cut kick. So it can be your front leg, boom, or your back leg, boom, but throw it up and hit them. Okay, go ahead. Again, throw them up. You can hit them anywhere between your head and your hip. If they're leg height, front kicks don't work quite as well to the leg. That's where we're gonna do side kicks. And make sure you get at least a few with your bad leg, whatever leg you wanna kick with normally, get at least a few with the other one. And ideally you want something small. You want the objects, this is an accuracy challenge. So you want things that are as small as you can find. If it's as big as your head, that's too big. So you want little objects. Because then we're going for accuracy. We're trying to hit small targets. So you have to kick fast. Get the other one. Get the other one. Get the other one. Get the other one. Good girl. Okay, try a couple more. Oh, I missed. Try not to kick the dog. Okay, now we're gonna go to side kick. So you're gonna throw it to one side or the other side. And this one is gonna be a little bit easier in some ways, 
because on front kick, you don't want to go lower than the belly, but on side kick, you can go as low as the knee or even the shin sometimes. So you're going to throw it off to the side, whichever side. Again, try and hit at least one of them. If you have a dog participating, try not to kick your dog. And at least get a few on your off side. So you're gonna have one side that's gonna be easier that we wanna do a most on, but do at least a few on the other side. Get the other one. Get the other one. Go get the other one. Good girl. Good girl. Go get the other one. Get the other one. Okay. One more. Oh, dinner time for the dog. Lost my participant. Okay. Now we're going to, this one's going to be harder. You're going to try and throw them up and try and hit one with a punch and one with a kick. So throw them up, one punch, one kick. You can do a front kick or a side kick. You can do a jab or a reverse punch, whatever helps you hit both. If you can even touch both of them, that's pretty good. If you hit them and they both go flying sideways, that's even better. And again, on all these kicks, when you hit them, you want them to not go up or down. Ideally, you want them to go mostly sideways. They might go sideways and up or sideways and down. You want them to go flying away from you. And same thing, make sure you still have, yeah, nice thing. You wanna have small objects. If your object is too big, then it's gonna to be too easy to hit and we're going for accuracy. So July, try and find something at least like half that size. July, you want something smaller than that. Those are too big. Okay, a couple more. So throw them up, punch one, boom. Oop, I punched both. Punch one, kick the other. Throw them up, punch one, kick the other. We'll do a few more. And then after you hit him, come back to fighting stance each time. A couple more. Okay. Now, go to something more your guys' level. So that stuff is beginner stuff. We're gonna do flick. So flick, remember your goal is to bap him on the nose. So you wanna hit it like a punch about head height. We're gonna start off, and if you throw them up and you hit both of them with one flick, that works. We're gonna see if you can throw them up and see if you can flick both of them with the same hand. Again, this is working on speed because flicks are supposed to be fast. They go out fast and they come back even faster. So you gotta go one, two, fast. Throw them up, one, two. Put your fingers together, your thumb is on the middle finger to reinforce it just slightly but it doesn't need to be hard. Your goal is just to get them to flinch or make their eyes water. Make sure you do at least a few on your offhand. You're gonna have one hand that's already pretty fast. You're mostly gonna to wanna to go on the other, you're gonna do at least some on the other hand. This one. And again, both with the same hand. Flick, flick. Toss them up, flick, flick. Same hand gets both. And again, for speed, you gotta pull it back. Imagine that whatever you're hitting, it's like 500 degrees. So when you hit it, you pull your hand back as fast as you can, but then you do it again. One's made of fire, the other one's made out of ice. So you hit the first one, your hand gets burned. Hit the second quick to cool it down. And then hands come back to fighting stance. Do a couple more. I'll see both. I'm going to find your offhand is much off. Oh, 
Okay, now we're gonna do, I'm trying to throw them up, and we're gonna do two chops. So we're gonna do an inside knife hand and an outside knife hand. So they're gonna throw them up, hit one, one way. Oops, I missed the second one. One, one way, the other, the other. One thing you're gonna have to do is if these motions are too big, you're not gonna be able to get it in time. So you want the motion to be just enough that it goes through and then go back the other way. So again, we're focusing on speed. You wanna hit the first one, your head height or slightly above. Missed completely. Let's hit them both. I got one of them. And as long as you're hitting one, if you're hitting one, that's pretty good. I've only once today gotten both of them. So as long as you get one of them, that's good. Oh, got both again. And then do at least a few on your offhand. Do a couple more. You can also try instead of in out, you can go out in. In out is usually going to be faster, but you might be able to get some that way. If you manage to hit both of them even once, that's pretty good. And if you hit, even as long as you hit one, that's still, still pretty hard. And again, it has to be fast. If you're too tight, it won't work. Some of you guys are doing just one swing. Try the second one, even if you're missing. Because our goal is to get that motion to be fast. Right now we're working on speed and accuracy. That's why these are small targets. Ooh, over and under. Oh, sorry, dog. Okay, and let's call it good. Let's put these away. And once those are ready, just set them off to the side. Face me, chitty it, can yay. Okay, take a one minute break, come on back, we're gonna do some different stuff. Okay, start heading back. Okay, what we're gonna do next, we're gonna run through forms. We're not gonna do them a lot. Uh, the white belt ones, white and yellow, the white and yellow belt ones, we're just gonna do, or sorry, the yellow belt ones, we're just gonna do those once each, just as a review. But then the ones for your guys' level, Ojong, I think we'll just do Ojang. We'll do that a couple times. So that's the senior green belt form. So we'll do the yellow belt form, the senior yellow belt form, and then we'll do the senior green belt one or senior green belt one a couple times. Okay, and then we'll move on to different stuff. So Chumbi, Taeguk, Iljong. Turn to the side and block, step forward, punch. Walk backwards, turn, walking stance down block, walking stance, punch. Left leg giant step to the front, block and punch. Left hand up, right foot up, turn, protect your belly, Walk forward, other hand punches. Walk back, turn, walking stance, inside block. Walk forward, other one punches. Take your front foot, giant sliding step to the front, block, and punch. Step up, turn, that one is a high block. Back foot kicks, head height, same side punches. Walk backwards, high block again. Back foot kicks, same side punches. Now you've got a string tied from me on your foot. Swing it back, front stance down block, going back where you started. So going away from me. Front stance punch, hop. 
Last move is if you're punching, if you can see me, then you're facing the wrong direction. You want to end going away from me. And then auto, open, turn, step backwards. Okay, we're just going to do that once. That was a quick review. And now we're going to go to Sam Jump. So this is senior level one. Take a Sam Jump. Turn, down block like Iljong. And then I do kick. Then when I land, whichever side I did the first kick does the first punch, add a second punch. Walk backwards, walking sets down block. And again, kick. That same side does the first punch and add a second punch. Now that second hand punch, hand opened up, knife hand, chop to the neck. Close it, open the other one, chop to the neck. Now this one goes across, stop, change to a front stance, make him stop. Open that hand, turn around behind, stop, change it to a front stance, make him stop. Other hand comes up, start to walk forward, turn, block one, step forward, same block again. Now take your back foot, cross it behind, dance move, just twist, follow your foot, drop down, down block. Back foot, right foot, kick, front stance, right punch, left punch. Whichever it is, the kick does the punch. Walk backwards, then turn and follow it. Down block, kick, whichever leg's in front, that one does the first punch, one, two. Then that front foot, slide it back facing away from me. So if you can see me, then you're facing the wrong way. Front hand block, protect your leg, and without moving, other hand punch. Then take one step away from me, same thing. Protect your front leg, other hand punch. Then add a kick, land, do the same thing. Protect your leg, punch, and right leg kick, block, hop. And then paro, open, turn, face back towards me. Okay, now let's go on to senior green belt form, take Ojong. We'll do that one twice. So, chumbi. First one will be pretty slow, second will be a little bit faster. Front stance, down block, slide back to an L stance. It's like a tiny back stance. Your hand circles up around, bonk on the head. Other side, down block, circle back around, bonk on the head. Other hand and foot, block, reverse block. Then kickity boppity block, kick to the face, bop to the nose, and block. And again, kickity, same side, boppity, other side, blockity. Step forward, one more bop to the nose. Now that one's still bopping. Take your other hand, make it a knife, put it on your belt. Cross behind like the dance move in Samjong, then spin and follow it and show him your knife. Then step forward. You don't want to use your knife. Step forward, hit him with your elbow instead. Now take your knife, switch it to the other hand. It was my left, switch it to the right. Walk backwards, turn, and again, show him your knife. Step forward, don't use the knife, hit with the elbow. Now you're gonna to go to your left away from me Giant step, protect your front leg, and block. Then you do the same thing, you do a snap kick first, land in front stance, and do it again. Protect your front leg, and reverse inside block. Then start to walk forward, instead turn to the side, front stance high block, going off to your left, off this way. And then drop it, top it, put the other one on top, and you're gonna do a side kick and a hammer strike at the same time. After you're done with the kick, keep the hammer out there, land, it turns into an egg, hit the egg with your elbow, and when you do, splatters. Walk backwards, turn, that splattered egg goes up, protect your head, drop it, put the other one on top of it, side kick, hammer, keep the hammer out there, land, splatter. Now your front foot slides to the front, giant step, block, reverse inside block, then last move, snap kick, you're gonna stomp on their foot, boom, at the same time you bop them in the nose, same time key up, pam, and then you're gonna take your back foot, cross it behind, like you're dancing, and then paro. Okay, let's just do that one once, so we have time to do a couple of weapon forms. So we'll just do one, the first form of each of the weapons we can do. We can't really do Psy unless you have Psy, so if you wanna do Psy, you gotta do that in a private class, but Let's get a staff-like object. I'm gonna use this pool noodle. You're gonna to wanna to get a sword-like object. The staff might, might work, but probably something shorter. So here's my sword-like object. And then a nunchuck-like object. I'm gonna use this shirt. You can also use a towel. So get one of each of those things. Go quick. What about nunchucks? Can you use nunchucks? If you have nunchucks, you can use nunchucks. So if you have a sword or a staff or nunchucks, you can just actually grab the actual weapon. You don't have to use a shirt. Okay, so go ahead. Grab those things. And then 
Once you have them, we're going to use our nunchucks first. So set the other ones off to the side nearby. I'm doing the third nunchuck form while I wait. <sighs> Somebody got your nunchuck or nunchuck likes? All right, so we're just gonna run through the first nunchuck form, first sword form, first staff form. So starting off to me, push them away, hands come up, let go with your left hand, other side, slap them across the face, out, down, up, catch. Drop the top one, hit him once, hit him twice, out to the side, down, up, catch. Repeat, drop the top one. One, two, out to the side, down, up, catch. Block up, move behind your head, left side, slap across the face, catch. Other side, block behind the head, slap, out, up, catch. Block up, behind, again, strike, pause, set on your back, strike down between your legs, second strike, bring it back, Third strike, slap him again, out, up, catch. Block up, do it again. Right hand drops, left side, strike one, rest on your back, strike two, between the legs, strike three, across, out, up, catch. Then you're done, shove him away. Okay, we'll do that one again a little bit faster. If you lose track, that's okay, just jump in at some point. Yeah, chumbi. All right, bring it up, behind your head, right side, slap out, up, catch. Drop it, left side, strike, strike, out to the side, up, catch. Drop it, strike, strike, out to the side, up, catch. Block up, left side, strike, catch. Block up, behind, right side, slap, catch. Do the same move again, right side, slap, but then pause, rest in your back, strike down, hop, and across, up, catch. Block up, behind, left side, strike, Pause, strike down, hop, back, across, out, up, catch. And then on paro, shove them away. Okay, nunchucks away. Sword chucks. Sword chucks is a bad idea, but sword or sword like object. Okay, when you have your sword, you're gonna hold it in your left hand at your side. There we got your sword. If you have your sword, Hold it out, sword-like, so I can see. Sword. Okay, sword, good. Sword. sword. Wave your sword if you've got a sword. Okay, nice. All right, sword in your left hand. And you start off, chariot. Kanye, when you bow, the sword moves with you. Step back to a fighting stance. Hand sets on top of your sword. You don't want to draw it this way. Here's one of the things that people get wrong about sword. You want to curl your hand towards you. Like you have something sticky in your hand, you're going to rub it on the sword handle until your hands are up. So here, my hands are down. I wanna curl it towards me so it's up. My fingers are pointing at the ceiling. I draw it straight up and I cut straight down, going from forehead to belly. Turn it to the side, flick it, set it on your hand, pull it back, sheath it. Now I'm gonna do the same draw. Again, my fingers point up at the ceiling. Draw up, I'm gonna go around the side, twist, cut down at an angle. Bring it back, roll it, set it, Sheath it. Now I'm gonna draw up to the side, cut shoulder to hip. And you don't need to go way past, that just hits your friends or a wall. Once you've gone through your target, you can stop. Turn it up, your palm is up. Roll it, just once, but this is the motion. And then after you've rolled it, set it in your hand, this would be your scabbard, sheath. Now draw up again around behind you to the side, twist, cut across the belly. And again, you don't need to go way past, that cut your friend. Or if you go through your opponent, you can stop. And again, flick it, set it, sheath. Now, I'm gonna turn across the belly this way, cut out, and again, stop once you're through them. Up, roll, set, sheath. Now I'm gonna draw straight up, go all the way around, down low, twist, cut up, back, flick, set, 
Sheath, other way, twist it around, draw low, twist, cut up, back, roll, set, sheath. Last one, I'm gonna turn it all the way upside down, draw down low, twist, cut, hop, straight up, belly to chin. Bring it back, roll, set, sheath. Chin it, chin it. Okay, we're gonna do it faster. If you get lost, don't worry about it. Just jump in wherever you can. So I'm gonna go to a slightly different angle. Chin it, chin it. Ready, first move, draw up, cut down, back, flick, set, sheath. Now, second one, draw up, out to the side, cut down to the left, back, flick, set, sheath. Now, draw up the other side, twist and cut away, back, flick, set, sheath. Draw straight up, go around behind you, twist and cut across the belly, roll, set, sheath. Turn it the other way, cut across the belly the other way, back, palm up, flick, sheath. Draw up, go around, down behind you, twist and cut up, roll, flick, set, sheath. Now turn the sword upside down before you draw it, twist and cut up, so you're drawing low, cutting up high, back, flick, set, sheath. Last move, turn the sword all the way upside down before you draw it, draw down low, pop, twist, cut up, back, flick, set, sheath. Okay, you can get rid of your sword, get your staff real quick, so you can run through the first staff form a couple times. All right, when you hold it, palm up, like you're getting a low five. Instead of a low five, you get a staff, turn your hand around it. Okay, starting off, your hand slides down, you want this part above your arm to be twice as big as the part below your hand. Chumbi, left hand comes up, front stance, push down. Thumb down. Rub your knuckles on your shoulder like they're itchy. Grab the staff. Your right foot back here steps around the staff. This top end, bop them in the face. Bring the other end around, bop them in the face. Make sure this one's on this side, not on that side. Now hold it level, step, strike to the side. This one hits your arm. Step forward, strike down. This is the trickiest part, next move. The staff stays, you turn in place. The staff stays, you step backwards. The staff stays for a second, then lift it up. Then bring that end back down, bonk them once, and like you're kayaking, bonk them a second time. Step forward, strike to the side. Step forward again, strike down. Staff stays, you turn. Staff stays, you walk backwards. Look at the end in front of you. Lift that end up until it's over your head. Bring it back down, bonk them once. Kayaking, bonk them twice. Now we're done. Step up, take this back end, scoop it out in front of you. Then this other end, drop it down to the side. Big circle, Okay, we've just enough time to do it one more time, a little bit faster. And again, if you get lost, don't worry about it. Chumbi, this hand opens, giant step, push down behind you, thumb down, knuckles brush your shoulder. This side that's the staff is near, step around the staff, bonk once with the front end, bonk with the other end. Step, swing to the side, then take this back, step forward, bonk down. Tricky move, staff stays. Staff stays as you turn. Look at that front end, lift it up above you, bring it back down, bonk them in the head with it, bonk them with the other end. Step, strike to the side, step, strike down, staff stays, you turn, staff stays, you step backwards, look at the front end, lift it up above you, bring it back down, bonk them once, bonk them twice. Step up, scoop with this back end until it's up as high as the other end. Now this backside, push it down, circle, bow. Okay, that is all we have time for. So, if you are sticking around for the next class, I'll see you in two minutes. If you're heading out, I'll see you next time.